I mean, what what is the man of my dreams? Aquaman? Like, that guy is hot. <laughs> I mean, that's a dream. You know, this guy is real. My man is real. And he's a real person with real emotions and real feelings and real um, conviction. You know, and you come from different backgrounds and different parents and different parenting. Uh, and you fuse together and you create a baby and you parent together and you know of course there's going to be friction and arguments and not uh, agreeing you know or not getting what the other one's saying or you're like oh I get what you're saying you're not understanding that I understand what you're saying you know or it's like you know I hear what you're saying but that's not what I hear <laughs> Like, you said this, but I heard this. Like, that's how it's got to be. You know, and we're great friends. And we are not perfect by any means, you know. But am I dreaming of this man? No. But he is the guy for me. He is that puzzle that helps me complete my picture. Um, I don't believe in... When two souls become one. Oh, hell no. No. Not when two souls become one. It's just two souls. Um, making each other. I mean, fulfilling each other. Not making each other better, but. I want to be the best version of me for my man. I want him to have the best version of me that I can be. I mean, he deserves that, you know? And when I'm the best me, um, you know, he's the best him. You know, I say things like, I am so lucky to be able to love somebody the way I love him. I love him. And uh, when I love, I love hard. Hard. And uh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I'm with someone that lets me love him the way I do. Because I am I'm very loving. Physically. Not just sexually, but touching, feeling, hugging, um, kissing. I'm constantly wanting him to touch me and, you know, it's, it's like I'm a cat or a dog. Like, I just need you. I just need you to be touching me. 
can't be around you. I love a smell, the way you smell. And, um, I don't know, maybe I'm weird. But that is my perfection, my love perfection. Oh, yeah, because the song, you know, it's like, he's like, I can't fight this feeling anymore. I've forgotten what I've started fighting for. It's time to bring the ship into the shore and put away the oars forever. You know, just to complete something, to, um, you know, yeah, complete it. Just be done with it and move on. There's always going to be something in the next. I mean, we're human. Are humans we're naturally curious if you watch babies naturally curious and that doesn't that doesn't stop it doesn't stop because we get older it doesn't stop because we have kids I think that the one thing that I'm learning right now and that I kind of like had in the back of my head um, back in the day about kids was you know they're not really mine. Um, they're the only thing I own outright until they're 18. <laughs> but then they leave and they find their own love and their own family and their own success. And But in their own terms, not in the terms of my success for them, in the terms of what are my kids going to find successful. And um, if they are happy in their success, then, um, I support them 100%, you know, it's not about what I perceive as successful for my children. Um, all I can do is, is help them become the highest versions of themselves that they could possibly imagine. That's my job. So, um, yeah, so I have currently, I have not worked out uh, in like three weeks. Oh, God, I, I can't even say it. It's like, I can't even say it. But I've man been maintaining. <laughs> um, I'm still at freaking 180, right? I was like 177. I even got down to 175, and now I'm 180, so... I just gotta throw in that working out in the mix and voila, I'll start going back down. It's just, oh gosh, I have no idea what. It's like allergies or something. Just, I don't know. Just, I've been really lazy and sleepy and um, just wanting a break. <laughs> uh, you know, it's hard. It's like you get those couple of weeks off for Christmas vacation and then you go right back into taking the kid to school and the kids go right back into school and everything is chaotic again. And then you get spring break and then it's just like, now it's like, ugh, please, just, can I stand spring break forever? So I don't really have anything to report except for I haven't worked out and I'm a, I, I'm, was just going to say I'm a loser, but I... I am catching myself in the middle of that and I'm going to say I have not worked out but uh, I just got to start again you know and uh, I got to start Charlie Mike and I think I've just been putting it off and putting it off because I know how freaking hard it is and it's just six weeks of hardcore uh, workouts <laughs> and I have the app on my phone uh, and now when you go to bodybuilding.com I guess you got to pay for it so I have it on my phone still it's still on there then so I guess as long as I download it as long as I don't get rid of that app um, I have this workout so I think I'm gonna take a bunch of screenshots and just send them to my computer and then that way I just have the workouts and I can like just have them in my phone or whatever to do the workout later so I keep them for free I don't even know why I took them just rambling but anywho, so um, that's the thing. It's like, I haven't been working out, so I've really been trying to keep my nutrition in line, although I have been drinking. It's my birthday month, right? But my birthday's not till the end of the month, so. Uh. 
so it sucks because I'm all like, eh, birthday month, let's drink. So, uh, so, um, yeah, so starting tonight, having drinks with a girlfriend, and I don't know why, but I'm working tomorrow, and possibly have some drinks and go out tomorrow, and then, um, Sunday we're having a barbecue at my mom's, um, my niece's birthday is the very next day, it's mine, and then Monday is my actual birthday, and I will be going to a basketball game, because my husband works for our... Uh, state basketball team and so he got me tickets and so me and my boys my kids we're gonna go and we'll probably do dinner or something like that before the game so I'm super stoked it's gonna be just a chill birthday 44 so nothing I mean what am I celebrating just another year of health and happiness and love ah and my kids are healthy and I just spilled coffee all over the freaking car and my husband hates when I do that, so I, um, well, I call him my husband, but I don't know. We talk about marriage, but I would just want the title to be a missus, you know? All right, I'm babble babbling, guys. Everybody have an awesome, what is today? Friday. <laughs> Have a great weekend and uh, ciao.